All right, guys, so today we're going to talk about holes, but don't get too excited. I'm referring to the bore size of ear tips and how they affect the sound quality of your in-ear monitors. Now, the bore of an ear tip refers to the diameter of the hole that channels sound from the in-ear monitor's nozzle into your ear canal. And the bore size, whether it's wide bore, medium bore or narrow bore, affects sound tuning, fit and sometimes comfort. So let's quickly break that down. Okay, now let's talk about what difference it makes to the sound quality based on the different bore sizes. All right, so let's start with narrow bore ear tips. Here you can expect the treble response to be slightly reduced, the bass is going to be enhanced or sound warmer, and the sound stage is going to be more intimate. Overall, it adds smoothness and it can tame bright sounding in your monitors. Next, we have medium bow ear tips. Here you can expect the treble response to be mostly balanced. The bass response also is going to be mostly balanced and the sound stage is going to be pretty much natural. And overall, it's the default choice if you want neutrality. And finally, we have wide bow ear tips. Here you can expect the treble response to be enhanced or sound brighter and clearer. The bass response is going to be tighter with less boom and the sound stage is going to be airier and wider. So overall, it's going to boost detail and openness. Okay, now let's talk about fit and isolation and what effect the bore size has on these. Now with a narrow bore ear tip, you can expect the isolation to be the best, the seal is going to be an easier seal and the comfort is going to be often most comfortable. Now with medium bore ear tips, you can expect the isolation to be more or less good, the seal to be a moderate one and the comfort to be a balanced fit. Now when it comes to wide bore ear tips, you can expect the isolation to be far lower, you can expect the seal to be something that can break easier and the comfort to be a loose fitting one in some years. Alright, so now with the basics out of the way, let's talk about use case scenarios. When do you use these different bore sizes? Now typically, you would use a narrow bore ear tip when your in-ear monitor sounds too bright, when you want more bass and warmth and you prefer stronger isolation. Now when it comes to medium bore ear tips, this is good for general use and it gives you balanced tuning across the spectrum, so kind of like a default choice. And when it comes to wide bow ear tips, you use these when you find your in-ear monitor to sound a bit dark or muffled, when you want more treble clarity and air, and you prefer more open presentation. Now, of course, I'm giving you a general idea of how the bow sizes generally affect your sound signature and the fit and isolation. But again, all ears are not the same, so it's going to depend from one ear to another. So that is where you have to do some tip rolling, some trial and error using different tips and find the one that works the best for you. Alright guys, so I hope that gave you a good idea of what the differences bore sizes make on your fit, comfort and the sound signature. The link to these ear tips and many other ones will be placed in the description below for your convenience and I would really appreciate if you use those links to make your purchase so that you can help me run this channel and I can produce more such high quality and helpful content just for you guys. So thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share this video and I'll catch you guys very soon in the next one. Cheers.